Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to replace missing values with the factual analysis method in R. So when we read data into R we often find that there are missing values and so there will be records with missing values in them and we need to for data analysis purposes to be able to deal with those missing values. There are several methods that you might use to deal with missing values and in this video here we're going to look at the factual analysis method where we know for a fact what the missing value should be. So let's take a look at a data set to explain what we're going to do in this video. This data set is called 75 underscore data underscore file dot CSV. You'll find this sample file along with all other sample files and R scripts used in this series of videos on my GitHub page and you'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let's go ahead and uh, read this CSV file into R and print out the results. We can see here uh, some data, some sales and revenue data. Uh, this is fictitious data that I have made up for this video. And if we look down through it, we can see on lines four and lines five that there are two missing values. There's a missing revenue value on line five and there's a missing, um, there's a missing uh, code value on line four for the state of Colorado. Now I'm gonna concentrate on this particular missing value uh, in, uh, so, so that we can find out how we can replace a value when we actually know what that value is. And we can see on line five that the state two letter code for the state of Colorado are, are the letter CO. So I know for certain that I can replace this missing value on line four that's highlighted now with the letters CO. So let's go ahead and try and do that. So first of all, I want to be able to identify any records where there are missing values. Uh, so just to highlight those ones first, and I'm going to do that for my sales data um, um, data frame and uh, with square brackets, uh, trying it now to attempt to show um, the complete cases, uh, instances where the complete cases are not true. So I'm going to use the not operator and the complete cases function. And in this, I'm going to ask R to tell me the, uh, what cases are complete for the sales data function, sales data. So what I'm doing here is I want to show uh, complete cases for the sales data, but I'm going to take the opposite of that by adding in the not operator. So in this case here, I want to show the, the cases that are not complete. And after this, I need to put in a comma and a space for readability. So let's uh, run this. And you can see it's selecting lines four and five. They're the only two lines with missing values in my data set. Now, of course, I'm going to ignore line five in this video here and concentrate on line four. So I'm going to now look and show the Colorado line four. I want to show that uh, missing only. So what I want to be able to show is are there and if, if there's anything not complete, uh, but also has the state of name of Colorado. So sales data again going to once again use a square bracket and this time I want to find out are there any missing values. So I'm going to use the is.na function and the uh, so and the, the code is where the missing value is so I need to pick out the sales data dollar sign code. So I'm asking R to tell me are there any missing are there any NAs in the sales data code variable and use the and operator and I also want to know where the state is equal to Colorado. So sales data dollar sign and state in this case, uh, using the equals oper double equals operator for to, to say equals uh, and in inverted commas, the exact spelling Colorado, the exact spelling of the uh, state name. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to my sales data data set. I'm asking R to tell me, are there any missing values? Are there any NA values in the code variable? And I also only, only want to do this where the state name is Colorado. So let's run this and see if it works. Okay, and um, oh, I need to add in a comma at the end there. I run this again. Okay, so we can ignore the first output and just look at the second output here. And we are, as we can see, able to isolate the record for Colorado where there are missing values. So if there was uh, other missing um, codes for the state of Colorado in a larger data set here, it would display all of those as well. So we have just one, so that's why we're getting the output that we see here. So now I can use this information, I can use this way of picking up uh, this information here, I'm now able to, to focus and isolate uh, the uh, state with the missing code. So I'm gonna copy this piece of code. I'm gonna repeat it uh, on line 12, copy and paste. 
and this time I'm going to make a difference here so I need to um, add in the code into this line here so at the end let me just make this a bit wider I'm going to add in code because now I want to check the code variable and then after that just simply then using the assignment operator assign it the letters CO Okay, hope that makes sense. So I'm using the same code again because on line 10, I've been able to identify uh, any line that belongs to the state of Colorado where there's a missing value. So once I'm able to do that, so I'm using the exact same piece of code up to this point on line 12. I'm adding in the code variable here as well. And then where that happens, I'm going to assign the letter CO. So let me run this piece line of code. And I'm going to check line four on its own to see did the replacement take place. So sales data, square bracket, line four, space for readability. Let's read this. And we can see on line four that the letters CO have been added in to the data set. So let's print out the whole data set just to get a quick look at everything. Sales data, run this, and we can see, there we go, line four, that the missing value has been replaced. So when we know for a fact what a value is, we can use a method like this to replace that value. And we can do it multiple times in very, very large data sets. So that's how you replace missing values with a factual analysis method in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.